Linda Bennett. I'm here to share with you a new technique that's going to be offered here at Sweetha in the next few weeks. And Linda Horning is here to talk to about eye movement stress release. And this is a terrific technique. And for those of you that have already completed your first 100 hours of hypnotherapy, this would be a great tool to add to your toolbox. So Linda, I'm gonna let you take it. Okay. <laughs> Rapid eye, eye movement, it's not rapid eye, it's eye movement processing actually can bring up or address stress that the individual is experiencing during a hypnosis session. So we use a wand. The wand is, is an eye directing device actually, or we call it a wand, but it helps to stimulate the emotion and bring it up. So we use the eyes to bring up what is what we call cell memory. I know that our body holds a record of everything we've experienced. And when we uh, are in hypnosis, those, those memories come up along with the emotion. And so as we, are, are, we have a client in hypnosis, we can take the instrument and process the feelings so that they can move through it, basically at the speed of light, because we are tapping into quantum science here. It says that energy moves at the speed of light. So it's very efficient and smooth and the, the client doesn't have to relive an experience that's traumatic for them. They can just move through it and process it. So Michelle is my, my client here today. So I'm gonna ask Michelle to lean back in the chair and take some deep breaths. Just take about six to eight good deep breaths. Hold the in breath to about the count of three or four and then very slowly exhale. Allow one breath to move right into the next. And as you're breathing, allow the oxygen to flow up, the oxygen to flow up through your chest and your throat and into the top of your head. We'd like to get your body oxygenated and your head feeling very light. So when your head feels nice and light, let me know by nodding your head yes. Now, Michelle, I'd like you to picture or imagine a beautiful light, pure light above the top of your head. When you can see the light or imagine the light, let me know by nodding your head yes. Is the light nice and bright or is it cloudy? Good. So imagine now that a beam or a shaft of that light is going to flow down toward the crown of your head. There's a sensor at the top of your head that will open wide, so allow that beautiful bright light to flow through that opening and systematically flow through your entire body. So allow any chatter in the mind to become quiet and allow all the muscles in your body to absorb the light and pleasantly relax as the light flows to the tips of your fingers, the tips of your toes and everywhere in between. Now, if there's any tension anywhere in that body, allow the light to dissolve the tension so your body can become loose and limp and pleasantly relaxed. So when your body is filled with that bright light, let me know by nodding your head yes. Good. Now picture or imagine a rainbow of many colors above your head. One color in that rainbow will stand out brighter than all the rest. What color stands out brightest in that rainbow today? Yellow. Yellow. Allow yellow to spill out of the rainbow and to flow down toward that opening in the top of your head so that yellow can mix and blend with the bright light. Following the same path as the bright light, moving through every organ, every system, and every cell as it gently flows all the way down to the tips of your fingers, the tips of your toes, and everywhere in between. Now, as yellow flows through the cells in your body, allow your body to, in, to go deeper and deeper into a comfortable place of relaxation. Also, the color yellow, will flow as it flows through the cells in your body, will activate the intelligence held in those cells, as well as the memories held there that will assist in your work today. So when you're filled with yellow, nod your head yes. Good. 
Now in a moment, I'm going to ask you to recall a stressful situation that you've encountered within the last week or two. I'm gonna snap my, I count to three and snap my fingers. And when you hear my fingers snap, let your mind take it wherever we need to begin today with a, a recurring problem you would like to address or one that is current, is present. One, two, three, first thought that comes to your mind. Fear. Fear, all right. So allow the fear to intensify. Where do you feel the fear in your body? My stomach. Your stomach. All right, and let those, let those feelings intensify, the fear in your stomach. Sometimes we have a tendency to move away from pain. So let's let the pain come forward. And when you can feel that fear or everything associated with it in your stomach, let me know by nodding your head yes. So now in a moment, I'm going to ask to be in that situation now, in that situation, that stressful situation, be there. And in a moment, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes. Open your eyes, follow this back and forth. Repeat the words, I feel afraid. 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 Now blink your eyes open, chat, open, chat, bring it out, let it go, let it go, cell memory coming up, coming up, coming up. Bring all that fear, all the anxiety, fear, 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 sad, sad, and happy, depressed, empty, lonely. Blink it out, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Confusion, confusion, confusion. I don't want to see it, don't want to hear it, don't want to feel it. What are you feeling in your eyes? Scratchy. Okay, that's anger. Scratchiness in the eyes is anger. So let's look back and forth. I feel angry. I feel angry. I feel angry. I feel angry because first thing that comes into mind. All right, I can't do anything about it. I feel angry, I can't blink. I can't do anything about it. Blink it out, release it, release it. And what we're doing is we're blinking through all of the modalities, the NLP modalities. So we hear, this is where we recall old memory, this is where we have visual memories, this is where we keep recreating challenges over and over again, and down here's the feeling there of the brain. So bring up anger, rage, hate, contempt, disgust. Blink it out, let it go, let it go, let it go. Hear it, see it, feel it. Bring it up, bring up those emotions. Bring, pull it out of wherever you're holding it in the body, releasing it, releasing it, releasing it, releasing it. I don't wanna see it, I don't wanna hear it, I don't wanna feel it. Stuffed pain, stored pain, stored pain, repressed anger. Blink it out, let it go, let it go, let it go. Release, 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 release it. Feeling powerless, 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 helpless, helpless, hopeless. Blink it out, let it go, let it go, let it go. Cell memory coming up, coming up, bringing it out from every cell in that body, pulling it up, releasing it, releasing it into present time through every layer, every level, every repetitive experience. Blink it out, let it go, let it go, let it go. Hear it, see it, feel it. Break it up, break it up, break it up. Michelle, take a big deep breath. Big deep breath, gather all that fear and anger and release. Big deep breath, pull it up and release it. Once more, big deep breath, pull it up and release it. How are your eyes feeling? A little scratchy. How's your stomach feeling? When you, when you think about that, that stressful situation, how do you feel now? Better. Okay, is there anything left in that stomach? feeling left there or anywhere else on your body. Like a lump through the basement there. It's just okay. So close your eyes for a moment. Check back in with what you felt before and look and see what patterns evolved out of those feelings. What did it create for you? Feelings and beliefs or attitudes about yourself. That what? That I can control things. Okay, so how does it feel when you can't control things? I feel afraid. Mm -hmm. Angry. Okay, so is there any fear or anger there about control left in your body anywhere? Scan your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes.
do sometimes that are that you're looking for that are that you're in your forehead all right focus your attention on your forehead and if you had x-ray eyes what would the feeling in your forehead look like does it have a color or shape Imagine a face in that purple diamond shape. Any face at all. This face you can talk to in your mind. And in your mind, ask what the purpose or intention is of that purple diamond that represents the discomfort that you feel in your head. In your mind, ask if it is there to help you, hurt you, punish you, protect you, or for another reason. Area, thank you for helping me. And just say in your mind, say you're help, you're here to help me because. You're, that there's a threat somewhere. Just have your opening eyes move back and forth to say, I feel afraid. I feel afraid. I need protection. I need protection. I need to be protected. 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 I need to be protected because. I need to be protected because. I think it comes on your own. I'm by myself. I'm by myself. I cannot do anything. Open chat, open chat, feeling alone, 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 helpless, 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 hopeless. Look it out, let it go, let it go, let it go. Release it, sun memory, coming up, coming up, coming up. Look it out, let it go, let it go. I don't want to see it, I don't want to hear it. Alone, alone, helpless, helpless, hopeless, sad, 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 and happy. Depressed, empty, lonely. What are you feeling in your eyes? It's feeling stuck, 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 stuck and feeling alone, stuck in sadness, stuck in sorrow. Blink it out, let it go, let it go, let it go. Release it, feeling unprotected, unprotected, unsafe, unsafe, unsafe. Blink it out, let it go, let it go, let it go. Release it, release it, release it, release it. How are the eyes feeling? They're, are they completely smooth? Okay, stuck, stuck, stuck. Feeling, feeling overwhelmed, overwhelmed, overwhelmed. Now this is at a point where I would do age regression. Uh, normally in a session, I would stop and have her close her eyes and ask when this pattern began. And I would count to five, it's, I'm not gonna do it with her, I'd count to five, snap my fingers, and she would go back to an earlier age where this pattern began. And then I would do the wand movement processing from that age, would gather a little information about what she was feeling, maybe as she went to a memory when she was four or five years old. And uh, then I would process from the, the child's feelings and in, instructing the body to release it from every, through every layer, every level, every repetitive experience. And we would even blink out, say the patterns right, um, that, that have evolved. So I would have to elicit that and bring it into present time and release it even into the future. So with this process, we can clear a person's a, a major issue in a person's life in just a few sessions. So um, how are you feeling now? Now, when I ask her what she's feeling in her eyes, when, we, when we're doing the blinking process, the, the emotions that are coming up, the condition of the eyes will shift or adjust to um, indicate what emotion they're processing. So if they've tapped into fear, they're going to feel like their eyes are, are uh, scratchy, like they're walking through a dust storm. If they've tapped into fear, the eyes will sting or burn. If they've tapped into fear, the eyes, I mean, they, I'm sorry, if they, they, they've tapped into fear, the eyes will sting or burn. If they've tapped into grief or sorrow, the eyes will get very heavy and it'll be hard to blink. If, um, 
So sometimes the eyes will feel itchy or puffy or sticky or dry. And it also will activate the places in the body where the body begins to store emotion, basically from the time that we're born. The subconscious will do that. And so it'll tap into those areas and pull that energy out very rapidly so that um, the energy, the feelings and sensations and emotions that are trapped there will be released, okay? So that, that's the essence of the eye movement process. It's very effective. Um, I've been doing it now for, oh gosh, I'm pushing 30 some odd years. Um, and um, there are ways when a person is in that subconscious dominant state to have the client resolve their own issues through this process. It's really pretty miraculous, actually. <laughs> so how are you feeling now? All right, is, it, is your hair, your head clear now? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, so now anything else showing up in your body? Any other feelings, sensations, emotions? Feels pretty good? Mm -hmm. All right, now ask your body now what color from the rainbow it would like to be healed and whole. Imagine that rainbow and see what color it wants. Blue. Blue. So now imagine blue is going to spill out of the rainbow and flow down toward that opening in the top of your head. So the blue now can flow through your body, moving through every organ, every system, and every cell, bringing in the ability to open your communication. Blue is the color of the throat chakra, so it opens and heals the issues in the throat chakra, as well as the other places in your body. So as you're feeling with blue, bringing in a new vibration of peace, comfort, allow your body to absorb the blue, and when your body is filled with blue, let me know by nodding your head, yes? Now take a deep breath. It's time now to come back into present time with me. So in a moment I'm going to count and we'll do the count out there. 